project started in uh, 2014. We hired consultants to start the design work. And we found that there were a lot of structural issues within the walls themselves, as well as some issues with the roof and the window. So water infiltration was one of the big issues that we looked at. That work was split into three different phases. The first phase of the work was basically to ready the building for the conservation approaches, which were gonna happen later on. We spent quite a bit of time with phase one protecting a lot of these. Staircase is a really good example. Full staircase is shown underneath. Fabric down first, then a star foam over that, and then plywood over that again. If it wasn't protected, it was probably removed from the building itself. My name is Jenna McNeil, and currently we are at the Marshfield Storage Facility, which houses all the heritage elements that were removed from Province House all the windows, window components, so the frames, sashes, and all the uh, trim pieces, baseboards, door frames, any miscellaneous wood items that were removed. And it was a lot of hard work, but to be able to look around and see it all in one room is pretty rewarding. take on a building that very much has its roots in the ancient past, certainly through the 18th century. Traditional crafts of traditional masonry that built a building like this were removed during the 20th century, pretty much. And in recent years, a lot of these skills have been both been taught in Canada. A lot of people from Europe have come into Canada in recent years with carving skills, uh, traditional skills of masonry those skills have to match the skills of those who built a building like this. And with science on our side to help us understand more about the materials and those constructions and obviously new techniques and structural consolidations of walls. In many ways you're working in the past but you're also very much in the present. I take a lot of pride in my work, uh, working on these buildings and being able to restore them and to take part in these, these projects. I mean, I love being a mason myself. I like to, you know, restore the, the heritage of our country and the, the fabric of the building itself. We're in the uh, red sandstone quarry here at Kelly's Cross. This is for the internal portion of the exterior walls and also the foundations, also the basement uh, walls as well. It's an island sandstone, and there's not a lot historically, aside from foundations, where PEIs actually produced dimension stone for architectural use. But the adventure that's brought us to this place is to find something that's local. And there's huge piles of stone laying on this property. There's a few that were very encouraging. Just looking at it, uh, the sound of it, the grain of it, and so on. We will then take samples from these stones, break those down further into various uh, sizes that will be sent to a lab and we'll start looking at the chemistry, composition. At the end of the day, all of that's going to add up to a good stone, hopefully, and a stone that we can use in the building itself. Uh, originally trained as an architect, I also have experience as a conservation architect. We form a technical team that advises our project leader. You find out more about the building as you go along. Uh, it takes a certain group of people to work as a team. Uh, the building reveals itself as you go through the project. Right now, we are determining that the conditions of the walls are in far more optimistic and better condition that was originally surmised. So this is good news for everyone. In fact, it's the best way to go about restoring a building, that is to do minimum intervention and to work with what you've had. Uh, 
we are replacing the foundations on the north and south porticles on the provinces. Stabilizing with temporary concrete and steel, making sure we have the weight of each column, and then we're removing the foundations and replacing them underneath. It's a great team, a diverse team. We've got Parks Canada, the province, the public works, consultants, contractors, and everyone in our own way wants to do our best for this building. The unexpected kind of majesty of the building as it comes apart, understanding the way it's constructed has, has been a fantastic opportunity for us to benefit by looking at a building of this period. We've spent a lot of time over the past number of months taking pieces off the building, learning more about this building, and this is actually the start of putting the building back together again.